Okay, here we are given that y is directly proportional to x, and we are going to solve these two questions. Well, because we know that y is directly proportional to x, we know y is equal to k times x, right? So this is the equation that we are going to use. And keep in mind, k is what we call the constant of proportionality. Now, start with the first one, and let me just write this down again. y equals k times x. Well, it says if y is equal to 300, so I can just put that down. k we don't know yet, but we know this is 300 for y when x is equal to 25. So we can just go ahead and multiply by 25 for x, like this. And then we can solve for k. This is k times 25, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 25. So they will cancel like this. And then the k will be by itself, and 300 divided by 25 will end up with 12. So we can actually put this back to the k, and now the equation is y equals 12 times x, like this. And the question is asking us to solve for x when y is equal to 80. So I just have to put 80 right here, and that's equal to 12x. And in the end, I have to figure out x is equal to what? This is 12 times x, so I can just go ahead and divide both sides by 12, so they cancel, very nice. And uh, we can reduce this fraction. You can, if you would like, maybe use decimal, but fraction is better this way because the decimal does not end. I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, I can reduce it by 4. 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 4 goes into 80 20 times. And that's the most I can do. So finally, x is by itself. I'll write it down first. And this is 20 over 3. So that's the first part right here. And for the second part, same thing. Let's go ahead and do that. First, write down y is equal to k times x, because again, you know, that's the connection between y and x. Right here it says, though, when y is equal to 80, let's go ahead and put that down. That's equal to k, and the x is 120, so let's go ahead and put that down. So same thing. Go ahead and divide it by 120, so they cancel. Go ahead and divide it by 120. Well, this case, uh, let's divide this by 40. 40 goes into 80 two times, and 40 uh, goes into 120 three times. So k is equal to 2 over 3, right? like this. Well, put this back for this, so we have y equals 2 third x. And this time the question is asking us to find out what y is when x is equal to 200. So I just have to put 200 for the x. So we see y equals 2 over 3, and again, the x is equal to 200, so I just have to multiply by 200 like this. Well, multiply fraction, if you would like, you can write the 200 as 200 over 1. We cannot cross-reduce, so just go ahead and multiply the top and top, bottom and bottom, right? So finally, 2 times 200 is 400, and then 3 times 1 is 3. So final answer is y equals 400 over 3, just like this. And yes, that's it.